Welcome to the Sage 50C Pastel Accounting How-To Video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to resolve the runtime error 9 when processing or updating your cash book. The runtime error 9 subscript out of range occurs when there is a problem reading or writing to any of the fields within the data file. So often the problem is within the field where there is an invalid character. First of all, with this first step to resolve the issue, you need to go into the cash book batch. Once you are in the cash book batch, you need to go to the correct entry. If it's your payments, you need to go there. If it's your receipts, then you also do likewise. On the batch, you need to export the batch. Right at the bottom of the cash book, you have an option that says batch and you can click on export. On the screen that comes up, you can click on the magnifying glass. It allows you then to save the export file into a CSV file and you can choose the destination where this file should be saved. Once you save it, you can click on process. You will get a message that says the batch has been successfully exported. Click OK. At this point, you will then need to make sure that the batch is deleted. Before you delete the batch in Pastel, please make sure that you do a backup before you delete the batch. You then proceed to delete the batch by clicking on batch, delete batch. Confirm the process by clicking on OK and Yes. If you've got a payments and receipts batch, you will follow the same procedure for the receipts as well as the payments. Once the batch has been deleted, you need to go into your settings of your cash book. Under text processing, you need to select the default text type. In this case, we will select text type 15, which is 15%. You then click on close and the next step involves importing our cash book batch into our cash book again. You click on batch, import, select the location where you save the first import file, then select the CSV file that you saved. You then process batch should be imported back into your cash book again. If you are still getting a runtime error 9 after exporting and deleting the batch, your next step should be reselecting the text on your text column again on the cash book. So you would go into the cash book itself for each line, select or reselect the text type again and make sure that is a correct text type. In the account column of all the accounts that are on the cash book, click in there and click on the magnifying glass. Search for the account on the list. Double click on it to reselect the account. You will need to do this for all the lines so that everything is refreshed. Try and update the cash book again and it should update without an error. The next changes you need to check if you are still getting the runtime error 9 is checking if your entry types has got the correct date and period entry set up for it. You can check this by going into your setup, entry types. In that screen, make sure that the date and period entry for your payments and your receipts are all the same. You cannot have the payments have a date set period option while the receipts have got a pure default state option. Make sure both entry types have got the same setting. Once that is done, you can click OK to save the changes. The other setting will be to make sure that you do not have text on your transactions in the cash book if you are using the normal text system. For you to check if you're using the normal text system, you can go into your setup, text, general settings. 
in that screen under your processing method text system if it says normal VAT GST sales tax, then you should not have any transactions on your cash book that have tax on it because the tax has already been included on the invoices. If that is the case, you need to export your batch as we did in the first step. Check which line has got tax on it. Then go back into your cash book and make sure that you remove that specific line by deleting it then you can tell that line with no text on it the last thing you can check is making sure that on your transactions there is no transaction that falls into a period that does not exist on your setup periods in this batch all our transactions are in period 13 so we need to close the cash book batch then we're going to our setup periods as you can see there is no period 13 in our setup periods so we are bound to get a runtime error 9 when we update the cash book make sure that you go back into your cash book transactions then you will need to change each and every transaction in the cash book that has an incorrect period or a period that does not exist on your setup periods. In this case, I will change all my transactions to period 12 since I do not have period 13 on my setups. This should then allow me to update my cash book without getting a runtime error 9.